Hello and welcome to this video where um, I'm going to explain to you what hard coding is in Excel. Uh, someone posted a post on LinkedIn about hard coding and it was a poll and all the rest of it involved in. And uh, I got one or two, uh, actually more than two, I think it was about three messages from people saying they've seen this post. They don't quite understand what hard coding is. What do they mean by that? Why is it a good thing? Why is it a bad thing? Um, so I'll do my best to explain. Now, hard coding is, it's a terminology that comes from coding from um, computer programming, but it also applies to Excel, where what do they mean by hard coding is actually code uh, typing a value into a formula rather than a reference to another cell. So let me explain that in a little bit more detail. Hopefully this will make sense. Um, here you can actually see what the formulas are. I don't look up here because that's just showing it as text. But if you actually look in the cell, you can see equals six times 15 equals K9 by times K10. So in a, in a situation where, for example, you're charging 50 pound an hour and you're working for six hours, how much is that 300 pounds? That's what we're trying to calculate. But there are two ways of doing that formula. The first way is actually putting in equals six times 50, because there you've got the six, which is the uh, number of hours. And there you've got the 50, which is the rate. And then if you put it in like that, equals six times 50, it tells you 300 pounds. In the green cell, I've got equals K9, which is the six times by K10, which is the 50. So it's essentially doing the same thing. It's using the same values, but one of them is you put the values uh, straight into the formula, which is called hard coding. And the other one where you're actually referencing other cells is not considered hard coding. So hard coding basically means that you've, you've put the data straight into the formula rather than putting it into another cell and referencing that cell in the formula. So why is hard coding bad? And the person who did the post uh, said that hard, you shouldn't be doing hard coding at all. There are one or two situations where you, you might be getting away with it, and I'll explain that in, in, a, in a minute. But first, let me show you why it's not preferable. The reason why it's not preferable is if you've done, I mean, here we've got one formula, which is six times 50. We could go back to this. Um, let's just say for argument's sake, we actually now on the next day, we want to do seven hours or five hours, or three hours, or we want to increase the rate to 60 pounds or 55 or whatever. We now have to go and find this formula go into the formula and change the relevant value. So first of all, that might be a problem because we may have a value here, for example, of, um, of 12 hours, and we might have a, another 12 somewhere else in the formula, and one 12 is actually multiplying up with the number of hours in a day, and the other one we multiply by hour later, or something like that. So you may have different 12s in, and then you don't know which ones to go and change. Um, the other problem is you might have a formula you may have, uh, anyway, you might have five or six formulas all referring to this to this hourly rate, and then you've got to go and try and find all the ones that have the text of fifty in it, and some might have fifty for other reasons, and you don't know which ones to change, and it really becomes a headache. Whereas if it's not hard coded and you're actually referencing the cell, and you do need to change it, all you can do is come here and change at fifty to sixty and it updates automatically. That's one change. Otherwise, you've got to go through all the references where you've referenced that cell and hard coded, and you've got to go and change each one. It becomes sloppy, it becomes messy, it becomes massively prone to errors. And it, quite frankly, you can probably forget a few and it is a mat massive pain. Whereas when you don't hard code it and you actually reference a cell, provided that cell somewhere where you can find it, um, it's, it's easy to go and change. And then everywhere that's been referenced, that cell will automatically update. In fact, a lot of the spreadsheets I make, the, the standard ones, the ready-made ones in the store, you'll find it on the intro and setup tab, you'll find various settings. When I make custom spreadsheets, I almost always have a tab called settings where I put all these little um, uh, values so that people can go in and change them. So that if, for example, they tell me I charge 50 pound an hour, and then all of a sudden they want to put their rates up, which is fair, it's, going to, it's bound to happen at some point, then uh, they can simply go and change the rate. Now, I did say at the beginning of the video that there's sometimes a time when you don't, when hard coding isn't a problem. There's one, if you talk to 10 people who use Excel, they're always going to disagree on this, but there's some times where it's not a problem. Some people just don't hard code anything um, because they want to get into that routine and that's fair enough. Personally, there are times when I think you can. So for example, sometimes in a formula, you may have to put in uh, times by 24 or divide by 24 or whatever, if you've got the number of hours in the day. Now, the chances of the number of hours changing 
how many hours there are in a day is, well, it's not impossible, I suppose, putting anything past people, but it's highly unlikely that we're going to change the number of hours in a day. So to actually hard code something like that in, I don't think that's a problem, but other people will actually make a habit of putting in another cell 24 and then dividing by that so that they never hard code. It's probably not a bad practice to get into, um, hard, not hard coding at all. However, just think to yourself when you're doing a formula, what are the chances of any of these values changing? And if there's a, even the slimmest chance that they're going to change, then what I would suggest doing is um, not hard coding it, putting a reference and making sure that you've got that uh, ready to go. Otherwise, if there's no chance in changing, feel free to hard code. So I hope that that helps you. Thank you very much and goodbye.